Hi, I'm Dr. Russell Freed with UCA Lawrenceville. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about urinary tract infections. And urinary tract infections are a very common condition that any urologist such as myself would see in practice. They're frustrating, they never happen at a good time, and uh, they're very bothersome to the patient. Typical symptoms that patients come in with would be burning on urination, urinary frequency, sometimes fever, sometimes uh, pain in the back and the abdomen as well. Um, urinary tract infections happen in men, women, young, old, but there are certain individuals that are more prone to them. Um, typically, the most important thing that we want to do is get a patient feeling better. When a patient comes in with a UTI, number one solution is to get them feeling better and get rid of their symptoms. Second thing we want to do is make sure that there is not some underlying uh, anatomical or uh, other abnormality that's leading to the infections. And some patients unfortunately do have recurrent episodes and, and, and those, are the, those are the patients that we spend a bit more time investigating uh, the causes and, and, and working with them in, in preventing the infections. Um, unfortunately, women are more pre predisposed to urinary tract infections. We see a couple of clusters of, of female patients that, that uh, experience a disproportionate number of infections. Um, certainly in, in the younger women in their uh, 20s and 30s, they're, they're a little bit more common and sometimes related to sexual activity. Uh, in the postmenopausal uh, patient, uh, urinary tract infections are also more common, and that's generally related to the hormonal changes that occur with, with menopause. And whether a woman is young or old, the, the, the same uh, you know, guidelines of treatment hold true. We want to get their uh, symptoms resolved, get them feeling better, but then we want to work with them in identifying any correctable causes and also something as simple as, as having them prepared with an antibiotic at home so that when the inevitable UTI happens on a Saturday night, they don't have to drop everything, change their plans, go to the urgent care center, or make a bunch of phone calls. My patients all have antibiotics ready to go so that they can get rid of their symptoms quickly. Um, in the younger patient, there are some other strategies that we can do to prevent infections. Um, such as taking an antibiotic pill around the time of sexual activity, and that can quite often reduce the number of infections. In the postmenopausal female, there are a number of things that can reduce the number of infections. Um, and, and again, these tend to address the hormonal changes that are occurring postmenopausally. So, a, a common but sometimes underutilized treatment is uh, topical estrogen therapy. Uh, that can change some of the, uh, the environment that, that causes the infections to occur. Um, and more recently, there is a, a, another uh, high-tech treatment uh, that changes the vaginal uh, tissue with a laser to reduce infections, but also improve some of the other symptoms that a post postmenopausal woman might have uh, in terms of uh, sexual activity and uh, dryness and things like that. Thanks for listening, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us here at UCA Lawrenceville.